Hi guys, I have a Louis Vuitton handbag here to um, review. Yay! It's a break from um, Fendi and um, Dior. The first Louis Vuitton Epi Noe uh, GM review that I've made was, uh, I think, two years ago. I featured my tricolor um, Louis Vuitton. And um, the Epi leather actually is my um, favorite leather uh, of Louis Vuitton because it's very um, durable. This one is really, really tough, guys. So this handbag was actually, the date code says it was in 1996. So you can just imagine how old this um, handbag is. But it still looks um, great. And I'm glad that I bought this at this uh, condition. Um, despite its, uh, you know, its age, it looks like new. Okay, this is a huge, huge handbag, guys. This is the GM. So they have the Petina Way. <laughs> but this one is the bigger size. So it's supposed to uh, be able to transport, I think, four or five bottles of uh, full-size wine. So um, you're probably sick of the history of Louis Vuitton. So uh, it has been a while since I've featured my Louis Vuitton um, handbags. I've stopped buying Louis Vuitton handbags because... Uh, everybody just seems to have them <laughs> and uh, of course you can't uh, get away from you know the, the iconic monogram I still love that but it's just that everywhere I go everywhere I go there will always be somebody that's wearing the same bag as you but I'm glad that this is not screaming Louis so but it's undeniably a you know a Louis Vuitton um, just that's why it's, it's just a subtle I, I love it and besides this um, leather is the most durable so uh, rain or shine I could wear this I don't have to check the weather I literally have to check the weather guys when I go out because I don't want to you know I'm very very uh, careful with uh, you know especially um, lambskin okay so this is really huge so let me just give you um, let me just show you closely it has been a while guys so that's why I would like to show you the measurements of course you can't get the exact measurements it's just an approximation so um, this is probably like uh, 11 inches or 10 10 inches in length and um, this is uh, 13 inches in height and this has a really really um, I would say there are how many uh, one two three four five there are five um, five holes <laughs> okay so let me just show you the bag so uh, I was looking at um, uh, reviews of uh, Louis Vuitton Epi Noe GM, particularly this GM size online, and I wanted to see the um, details, and I could not find a, 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 you know a single um, a single YouTuber that featured just the bag itself and that featured it closely. So I hope this would help you guys. So this is uh, this says um, Lu. There's an R there and then the Louis Vuitton Paris. This is absolutely in near new condition, guys, except for some um, scratches. And the back of that would have, um, it says, made, made in France. Made in France. Okay. This is like... When I bought it, I was like, wow, this, I had a Louis Vuitton Epi NM, and that was very expensive. The NM is like uh, smaller than this, and it was exactly in this, uh, in this color. They call it, is it rouge? Red. It was in red. And the NMs normally are the newer versions of the uh, No Ways. And this is a vintage type. And let me just show you, so that's the handle, and it has one, two, three, four, five, 
and and it has those two stitches in the back this is very very thick guys it is heavy it is thick it carries a lot it's spacious so that's one good thing and you don't have to be very very careful about you know when you carry this handbag but of course what I don't like is when you scratch it against the wall and it has those white marks but I was told by the um, SA at Louis Vuitton use a non-alcohol um, hand sanitizer now there's the LV here and it has like two I'm not sure what you call this there are two <laughs> plain stitchings here and the bottom is just gorgeous 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 the sides okay so one of the sides would say oh not this one Louis Vuitton Paris made in France besides the strap there okay this is the back. It's just plain looking, guys. It's just plain looking. And this is where it says here. It, it, it's like, uh, uh, I don't think you can read it. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in, um, made in um, France. So it's not actually really, really clear. If you can see that, it's like a, in a what ink is this it's <laughs> it's black it's it's but it's <laughs> I, I don't think you can read that maybe you can oh maybe it's the glare so that's it okay now all all of all the grommets all the rings sorry would have the Louis Vuitton here sorry <clears throat> Louis Vuitton's and it Louis Vuitton um, all around okay and this is oh gosh I have to fill it up and this is a dust bag I love this dust bag guys because it's a drawstring dust bag so there so this is just plain um, suede like lining and it has a key fob what do you call this um, you could actually take the whole thing out guys so this is LV here and Louis Vuitton in the back what I like about this is it's not snug I love love the smell guys but at the bottom there, there there are marks that I have not cleaned yet at the bottom is like a, a very um, there's a base shaper but yeah it's like one of those uh, my, one of my lady your bags it has like a soft base shaper I have not um, cleaned that spot it doesn't bother me so you can you can um, if you could hear that this is nice and um, when I got this bag I was like is this really really uh, a vintage handbag because it well my other handbag was like good as new also so that depends on you know the how well it was kept and guys the the smell still has that new Louis Vuitton smell when you open it <laughs> and um, this is where you will see the serial number although it's very very hard to split it uh, I don't think is this where it, it is maybe it's in the other one I don't think you can you can um, see that or maybe it's in the other one how come I don't see it my eyes are really bad oh it's here guys yeah so it says AR0956. So this was um, made 
uh, May of 1996. Guys, so, wow, this is an old, old bag. This is a vintage handbag. And, um, guys, the, some, um, my complaint about when you get a vintage bag like this is that the, um, the straps or the strings would be so worn out. But this one, guys, is just really, really new. You can't, I mean, there's, look at that. It's super, super new. Um, the wear normally would be here. Now I could see a little wear on top, but that, that's it. That's just it. Everything else is okay. Uh, I think I saw one scuff here. That's it. But uh, that's so easy to cover up. I'll just, uh, prob I have a paint uh, kit there. I'll probably just um, um, dab, dab a red paint here. Yeah, and some marks. I don't know how to remove the marks here. I know how to remove it from the epi leather itself, but not on the smooth leather. So it just has like a tiny black mark there. This is, I would say, this is 9 out of 10. <laughs> 9 out of 10, you can just see. This is so, so big. Very, very big. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a, a little bit excited because this is uh, just one of the first... Um, now I'm going back to Louis Vuittons again, so um, we'll see. I still prefer the uh, vintage Louis though. So there you go, guys. But I think I'm going to get a smaller one because it's just too big. <laughs> really, really big and it's heavy. Okay, bye.